right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? This is the most insane thing I've ever asked, but are we on a ghost ship? Seems like it. Anyone figure out what happened to all the sailors? Did they catch a rescue boat or something? Good God, everything about this ship just screams tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. There's some unnatural shit going on here. It is unsuper freaking natural. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. What do you think actually happened on this ship? Beats me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it's kind of crazy, but I wonder if the plane from the dive could have been shot down by this ship. These are ruined. Can't use them. Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Hey! Over here! Help me out! I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Pull you up.
Hey, come here. Here's a way true. Damn it. Let me see what I can do. But there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival. Blown off course, bad cloud cover, but they couldn't get a read on their bearings. God, he died trying to get an SOS out. This must have been horrible. I die. <laughs> I die! Hey, here. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? All right, there goes nothing. Uh, good old shortwave radio. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Come in, please. Do you read us? Over. Uh, okay, at least there's someone listening. Uh, the signal's in and out, though. Uh... Mayday, mayday, this is an SOS! Over! Please repeat. Please repeat. We're on board an abandoned freighter. Our location is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Over. Come in, over. Come in, come in, please, anyone. Come in, over. It. Spirits. come on! Hey! Come here, look! I found a hole in the world! Hey, let's jump and hit this! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, for sure you're up for it? <laughs> I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. 
If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. She doesn't look scared. She looks very terrified. Broken bones. Everything still work? Everything still work? Everyone okay? Everyone okay? We're okay. We're okay. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Lighter. What's that lighter gonna do for me? Burn a bitch on fire? Hey! Yeah. Hey! <gasps> After you? After you? I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Yeah! yeah. Get going. Wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. Not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Tom Holland. Maybe this was somebody's this son from on board. German. Tom Holland. Say hello to the new Spider-Man. Donald Glover. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Look at all this reading I get to do with you. No. Dead scientist. All work and no play makes me a dumb boy. Hello. There's something there. Place to find a generator, right? Here's the real question: How are they gonna get back up? I'm sure they'll figure it out. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just wait. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. I 
focus on the feet plates of the planet. <laughs> oh, God! What's up? That! It, 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 it was... Wait, wait. Did you see it? Um... Hello? Hello? Okay, okay. Um... Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Yeah, I think we're all going crazy. I think it might be from that fog. Why would the fog make us go crazy? That fog is fucking with our heads. Maybe that's what happened here in the first place. Why there's nobody left on this ship? This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal. We know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage. And for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Fog. Dylan, okay, never mind. It's gonna say it froze up on me. right now dry clothes yeah I hear you scratching over there boy what the fuck why is he on your clothes But look! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, hey! It's the rebreather! It's the rebreather. Look what I found. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Hell yeah, we should. Half the boat is submerged. What are you doing, you sausage? No! Je t'en prie! No! Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur! Ferme ta gueule de merde! Tu dis n'importe quoi! Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries! Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde! That's not how you treat your friends. Écoute. Écoute moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ta gueule. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh fuck. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> have all the gold, and I'm to be left here to die, but I am the captain, I 
am in control. And I am the one that says who goes. Okay. Safe. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. stuff. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got a say. Ah, not again! It's all got changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us, now. Please, just calm down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay, all, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look. We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. Inside. Hey, man, come on, just put the. Can we say that was oh, the best acting performance in this game so far? Mm -hmm. <laughs> achievement to save everyone too. Yeah. I feel like we're getting close to maybe being able to get that achievement. You think so? No bad yet. How are you? We'll find out, see how badly we can fuck up. Let's see what I can kill. Wait by the radio. Bye. I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh, I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio.
I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. You see him? Yeah. He's like appearing like the scarecrow. He never showed up at the base game. Hmm? I said he never showed up at the base game. He's just trying to show you the door. Over here! Over here! Look at you breathing all that gas in. This must have been what we just heard. Doggy food? <laughs> oh no, that what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. This jump, Alex. I have to find another way around. Save my boy. I might accidentally kill him. Big twist as if they make it work. It's not actually any of those actions. Diplomatic immunity! Dylan trying to read the note because the camera's in the way. We should do a corner shot next time. I'll head bunch of leg next time. You saturated duck. Oh man, my legs. Thank you. 
That was worse than last time. What do you mean? You almost had it the time before that. Let me try it. No, Michael. It's, it's not your turn. It's my turn. You're having a hard time with it. You're almost so close. You're determined to get this door open, boy. <laughs> Here comes the stream where he's <laughs> you got it that long. You had to go and kill somebody. It wasn't my fault. Yes, it was your fault. How? I you made the wrong choices. I didn't make any wrong choices. Yes, you did. You made all the wrong choices. Now Bobby can't get the bang on. Well, she's still fresh. Go sit in the corner. <laughs> go sit in the corner. I'm ashamed of you. I would have saved her. I don't think you would have. I don't think there's anything you could Bates, you, you pretty much made the choices that... I, the choices you made were the opposite of what I would have done. What do you mean? Oh, stop it! Stop it! Damn it! You just want somebody to die. No, I did not want anybody to die. Yes, you did. Okay, I guess it's time to see if it's working.
hell is this place? Is it abandoned? Is it abandoned? Hello? Hello? Alex, Julia! Alex, Julia! Are you guys here? I swear to God, that's how it ends. I swear to God, <laughs> that's how it ends. <laughs> I've seen this. This has never happened before. I swear to God, I, this is how it ends, Dylan. You're going to get a bona fide. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. So that was our playthrough of uh, Man of Medan. Um, <laughs> thoughts on the game, Michael? Well, too much boring stuff going on in the beginning to really make up for the end. The ending was okay, but... Honestly, on that playthrough, it wasn't as satisfying as the original playthrough. The whole him coming back to the boat and not knowing what happens thing is like a shitty, horror-y, bullshit ending. Well, I wonder why. He must have found the body and then left. And then, and then the black dude's gonna be tried for murder. Or he's dead. Or he becomes fog. Well, instead of Iceman, he becomes... Fog, man. Even if he died, they had the National Guard people, Coast Guard people there, too. Oh, my lord. Uh... Well... So, if we, if you had to rate this 0 to 10 stars, what would you rate? Like a 7. Yeah. A low 7. <laughs> a low 7? Mm -hmm. Not a high 7? No. I'm going to give it a 6. Because the game's too short, yeah, even after playing it through for the third time. The second time. Second time. The, it's just, the dialogue needs to be better. I feel like, okay, the story itself, it's decent, it's just, it, it feels bogged down, like, so much. Well, the, the thing about it is, the second game that they make is vastly approved on what this is. This was like a base molding, and then I feel like they did a much better job on the second one than the first one. Yeah. Molding. It's like WWE 2K16. It was back to the basics. <laughs> no, I kind of feel like this was a bad piece of bread. And I had to eat it anyways because it was bread. So, this is just bread. Well, until next time, everyone. Mm. Thank you for watching. Mm. Man of my Dan. Tear falsely died, though. No, it's not. Yes, it was. It's your fault. You made the wrong choices. The only choices that's wrong that I make are the ones that keep me alive. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived.
almost. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable.